managed to find a bit of yellow sticker action to eat today. It was £3.80, reduced to £2.36. So let's see if, if the co-op chicken and ham bake is worth it. So we have British diced chicken thigh and smoked reformed ham with added water in a creamy sauce topped with roasted sliced potatoes and grated mature cheddar cheese. We can see looking at the ingredients that it's mostly potatoes, 40% in fact. We have 12% chicken thigh. Annoying lid. Oven cook or microwave, I'm gonna air fry mine. I'll let you know how long it took. So here it is my friends, straight out the air fryer. I ended up doing it for 18 minutes on 160. The potato topping has taken on a bit of scratch. So that's nice. Nice little bubble in this one. Yeah. Flip one over and not unexpectedly, it's a bit softer on the underside but you can make some nice lines in it, look at that. As we delve under the surface, see more potatoes here and more potatoes here, we finally get to the meat at the bottom. So here it is. So here's our chicken thigh and a bit of reformed ham. The reformed ham makes up 4%. I'm liking this slimy gremlin on here, with its eye, its nose, and sinister grin. Over here we can see a bit of decent edge action. So if we scrape that off, that'll give us more flavor. And if we look under this side, we'll see all those layers of potatoes. But eventually, just like the other side, we end up at the meat. Overall, I'd say it's been on a good display, but a rather tempting oily glisten. I also like the creaminess of this sauce that sat on top of the potatoes. So I'm rather looking forward to getting involved. I'm going to have a go at the potato first. Right, here we go. Oh yeah. Crispy on the top. Softer underneath, just like what we looked at. It does have a nice potatoey flavour. Tastes seasoned. Have another go with it. Yeah, very nice indeed. Not massively soft, the top ones, but I think if we get underneath on these <laughs> kind of under layer ones, that will be. That one was dead nice because it was covered in the sauce. It does taste a bit cheesy. It's not hugely cheesy though, gotta be, it's gotta be said. I think I've got a piece of a uh, ham. Actually, I thought I had a piece of ham, but I haven't. But I've got a load of chicken there. This is what that's like. It was soft enough and nice and hot, I say that. <clears throat> there is a strange kind of slightly artificial flavour about the whole thing, like it's got a cheese and ham cup of soup kind of flavour to it. But as I delve further, as you can see the air fryer cooked that chicken to the bottom, look at that. 
It's got all that brown action on there. And there's a bit of ham on there. Yes, I found a tiny bit of ham. I don't think you'll notice the ham. Let's try that bit of chicken there with all the colour on it. Oh, that was good. You can imagine, can't you? Because the colour on the chicken. Okay. Well, I'd say that this tastes all right. As it happens, it's hot. Potatoes are good. They've cooked nicely. Could do with a bit more meat, in all fairness. And probably a touch more sauce as well. But I reckon that's about six and a half out of ten to the last bite. Mm. So, co-op, chicken and ham bake. Yeah, it's all right. It's a slightly above average ready meal. Would I pay the £3.80 original price? Of course not. Would I pay the, what was it, 2 36 or something? Whatever that was. <sighs> if I had to, I suppose, I'd rather be paying around the two quid mark. Anyway, thanks for coming. Till next time. Get out of here. Mmm. I was Overall, I'd say it's putting on a tempting display. What with its... Overall, I'm saying... Eh.